Hey, Cedric. According to our podcast wiki, an Alf Yo is both a delightful, dedicated young man of our Ramjack audience. Shout out, Alf Yo. And it doubles as a reference for when we watch an isolated episode of a television show. Obviously, Alf was our first Alf Yo. We paired it with Small Wonder way back at the beginning of April 2014 on episode 178. Cedric, you know that Brad, Jonathan, and I keep a loose list of potential Alfios at the ready. Recently, we unanimously agreed to eventually cover an unusual sitcom that aired five days a week back in 1982. Also, Hugh Hefner or friends of the estate that might be listening, if you have any episodes of the 1977 show Sugar Time just lying around the mansion, please let Ramjack know. Its theme song alone warrants an Alfio. Back in January, I called attention to a Nick Arcade forerunner, a perfect Alfio candidate, called Starcade. It also aired in 1982 and features grown-ass men competing against adolescent boys to get the high scores in popular arcade cabinets of the time. It's hilariously unfair. Fun facts. One of the episode's two pilots featured Alex Trebek as the host. Anyway, as John and Illyrio quickly pointed out in our Facebook group, Starcade also shares its title with a pay-per-view precursor to WrestleMania. Cedric, I think that maybe we should Alfio professional wrestling. <laughs> Brad and I were both raised in a southern school environment where wrestling was a common topic among our male peers. Neither of us could really get into it. Star Trek, sure, but professional wrestling? Eh, we took a pass. In retrospect, I do not regret this choice, but I have been convinced that Alf Ewing professional wrestling would definitely be a fun ride. What persuaded me? The antics of Macho Man, Randy Savage. Random events led to my wife and I talking about how professional wrestling was super popular back in the 90s. During our conversation, she peeped me to something truly beautiful, and that was the wedding of Macho Man Randy Savage to his wife, Elizabeth, on stage, or in the ring. The colorful side ring commentators and crowd cheer on a seemingly drug-addled Randy who's eventually persuaded to get down on one knee and ask Elizabeth to marry him in a wrestling ring with, like, all the crazy fashion. And this isn't even the wedding, which also takes place in a wrestling ring. Also, no one told me there was magic in professional wrestling. Once, backstage, talking to some suit, Randy seemingly conjures out of nowhere an endless supply of coffee creamer, all to prove the point that cream rises to the top. I guess he's the cream? A magician, Cedric. What else is professional wrestling hiding? If anyone can point us in the direction of a definitive wrestling event rife with intrigue, um, high fashion, maybe dogs? Dogs or dog dancing would definitely help to get Brad aboard. Please, let us know. Another summer of Alfio could be upon us. I'll see you in the studio, Cedric.